Hey guys, it's Maria K, aka No Goat Girl, and I'm here to show you two new No Goat recipes. So the theme of today's show is Starbucks. Now, who doesn't like Starbucks? And I'm not saying that as a question, I'm saying that as a statement. Who doesn't love Starbucks? They have every drink under the sun. Whether you're a caramel lover, you want a smoothie, you want some strong coffee, but Maybe you don't live near a Starbucks, or maybe it's a tight week and you can't afford to get something from there. That's where I Know Guilt Girl comes in. So let's get started. So today we have two recipes, like I said. We have a drink recipe and we have a little bit of a um, healthy pastry recipe. We're going to get started with the drink recipe. Now, I don't know if anybody has ever had a really tough workout and they wanted something cold and creamy and nourishing. Well, Starbucks has what is known as their Vivano smoothies. They're delicious. They have protein. They put in a whole banana. But for some people, it might be a little bit out of their budget to do that every day. Or maybe, like I said, you just don't have time to make it to a Starbucks so you don't live near one. So I'm going to teach you how to make a no guilt Vivano Starbucks smoothie. Now, because today is Starbucks themed, I would never use anything but Starbucks instant coffee. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a quarter cup of almond milk. You don't want to put in too much milk because you still want it to be thick. You don't want it to be too runny. Unless, of course, that's how you prefer your drinks to be. All right. And I'm using the Unsweetened Almond Breeze brand. You can use vanilla or regular. Now here, to make it creamy and sweet, I have one whole frozen banana cut up into pieces. It takes about two or three hours to freeze over completely. So we're going to slip those in there. And just for a little bit more icy coolness, we're going to get three or four ice cubes, depending on the size of your cubes and the iciness that you like in your drink. I like four. We're going to put those in there. And now for the nourishing part. Everyone knows who is in touch with Starbucks that they have a scoop of protein in every Vivano smoothie. So I'm using chocolate because nothing goes better with bananas than chocolate. And there's no argument with that, guys. Okay. And now I'm going to put in the optional but very highly recommended instant Starbucks coffee packet. You can use half a packet, you can use a whole packet, just depending on your preference. But being the Starbucks fan that I am, that whole thing is going in there. I mean, I like my caffeine and I like my Starbucks. There we go. Okay. Now the banana might be sweet enough for some folks, but I really like to put in a few drops of my stevia extract. You could use half a Splenda packet or whatever sweetener you prefer. Um, highly recommended that it's sugar free because we don't want to add any unnecessary sugar to this. I like about four or five drops. Okay, let's blend this baby up. I'll see you in a little bit. to get the prettiest cup you own. And really make it a treat. All right. Mm, it's nice and thick and creamy. Look at that. Okay. Now, you can drink it just like this, but sometimes I know I feel a little indulgent. So if you too are feeling a little indulgent. I like to make um, my own little healthy, clean chocolate syrup. I just mix in about two teaspoons of my favorite cocoa powder with about three or four tablespoons, depending on how thick you want your syrup, of the almond milk. And then 
your favorite sweetener to preference. I like to use about three drops of stevia extract and that's enough for me. So what we're gonna do, and now this is only 15 calories per two tablespoons, so measure accordingly, folks. I just like to put on just a little squirt of whipped cream, just like that. And we're gonna take our chocolate syrup and we're gonna drizzle that right on top there. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that just look delicious? And it's nothing unclean about this. Perfect after a tough workout, any time of the year. A lot of people say they, they can't drink cold drinks in winter time, but come on guys, we can drink this anytime. This just, look, this just looks delicious, all right. And there we have it, our makeshift Starbucks Vivano smoothie for those days you can't make it to Starbucks or you're a little tight on the cash. All right, so now we're going to move on to our Starbucks pastry knockoff, and I'll see you back in a few minutes. Now that I showed you guys how to get your Starbucks smoothie fix, let's move on to a tasty treat. Okay. So this recipe is particularly perfect for when you have a friend over because it makes two servings. What this is, is my own little version of a toaster pastry or a toaster strudel, whatever you prefer to call it, but um, it's actually much healthier than what anything you get in a coffee shop or anything that you get out of a box frozen. And the star, of course, is my high fiber light flatbreads by Flat Out, my favorite brand. Okay, and this is a really good breakfast recipe as well. All right, so what I have here is I have about two ounces of fat-free cream cheese, and I sweetened it with some um, alcohol-free stevia drops. You can use a little bit of Splenda or whatever your favorite sugar-free sweetener is. Okay. So the cream cheese is softened, so for easier spreading. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it, the whole big thing, okay, and we're gonna spread it out. I like to use a spoon because the spoon won't tear the bread. And we're gonna spread it out, but we're gonna make sure that we leave a little bit of like a moat of just the bread around for easier folding so we don't make a mess of our fingers. Okay, now to layer on top of that, get that all on there. I have sugar-free blueberry jam, and you can use whatever flavor you want as long as it's sugar-free, or if you prefer the all-fruit kind and don't mind the little bit of extra carbs, that's fine too. I just like to use a brand that doesn't have any added sugar. I like Polliner sugar-free or all-fruit with fiber. So I have about three tablespoons here. I'm gonna put this right on top of my cream cheese. And I'm just gonna spread that out evenly. The sugar-free stuff is a little bit chunkier, so you might have to work it in to the cream cheese a little bit more so you're not biting into chunks of jelly. Okay, it's about as good as I think we're gonna get here. Okay. And we're going to fold the sides in, pat them down, just like that, okay. and we're going to fold her on up, just like that, a little burrito of sorts, it's okay if you got some edges sticking out. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to throw it in the toaster and I'll show you guys what that looks like when we get back. Okay, so now our pastry is ready, fresh and hot out of the toaster oven. I just put it on the regular toaster setting in my little convection oven. What I have here is a few tablespoons of Greek yogurt and I mixed it with my favorite stevia. Okay, I'm just going to take some of that. And it makes a nice little frosting of sorts. This is completely optional. You might not like frosting on your toaster pastry, but girl needs a frosting. 
Alright. It's a little pink because I mixed some more jam in there. I like my fruit. Alright. And we're just going to cut this in half. And this is what the inside of our toaster pastry looks like. Gooey warm fruit with cream cheese. And then we have our nice little frosting on top there. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to take my pastry and I'm going to take my drink and I'm going to sit outside on my porch on this beautiful fall day. And I recommend that you do the same. Again, my name is No Guilt Girl and I'll see you next time for another No Guilt Recipe. Say it's too late to try the wolf's tears and check your vital signs.